Yo, what is up, famous Warden Heat? Back to finish out Love Death Robots. Uh, hey man, let's get this train going, guys. It's been a really fun season so far. Volume 3 has been fun. Um, you know, all the episodes have done what they usually do. They leave us a little bit frazzled, a little bit like, oh wow, that is crazy, you know? And uh, keeps us thinking, you know? It sometimes keep, makes us a little bit depressed, a little sad, you know? But, you know, it does its work and I really do enjoy, you know, all of it. And at the end of the day, it also, amazes the heck out of us because of the artwork and how they do it, the effects, all the whole rendition of it. You gotta love it, man. It's so good. So far, man, I know this is probably the same opinion, but I, like the, the third one that I saw is probably my favorite one so far out of all these because I, I really enjoyed that whole, the visual aspect of it, the meaning behind it, you know, it's, it was really good. I loved it a lot. Um, so I'm gonna finish up the rest of them. I'm watching uh, uh, the... I think the, the one I'm gonna watch right now is called Mason's Rats. And then Jabaro is the last one. I've heard a lot about that. And then uh, In Vaulted Halls and Tombs. Okay, let's watch Mason's Rats. Let's get this thing going, guys. Hey, you guys know all the, you guys know all the announcements. Comment, like, subscribe, you know, bell for notifications, uncuts early access on Patreon. Um, I will be, un I'll be in, uh, unveiling YouTube memberships as well. So check that out when that does come out, guys. Anything to support a small creator like me get big, you know what I mean? If you subscribe to the channel right now, man, you, we are about to see the road to greatness because we, we doing big things out here, man. You're about to see me get a silver plaque, about to see me just do some crazy, crazy things on YouTube, and I'm excited to share all this with you. So let's get this show going, man. Mason's Rats, yo, let's do it. Mason's Rats, Mason's That's a really intriguing art style, man. I like this. Yeah, shite. <laughs> shite. Take that, nasty bastard. Bastard. They have gained intelligence. Evolution is that humanity is walking the environment, forcing the animal kingdom to adapt. I believe this, but not, you know, this thing. Allow me to introduce the TT6, a fixed position guided pulse laser. Do I really need all this shit? Shit. Just know a bit fucking overkill. <laughs> I love his little accent. Wow. I wonder if he's even doing anything, man. These rats look like they're fucking smart, man. This is definitely in the future. Clever little bastard. We're gonna have to go mobile. What do you mean? The all new TT15 with gas cooled auto cannon. Armor tablets and a thermal mechanic. They're taking this man's money. That thing's Bloody menacing. Hell. <laughs> I would not trust a thing in my house. I don't know if this thing's gonna make it, man. I feel like these, these rats is getting smarter, man. Evolution, for real. No, oh, never mind. That's so fucked up. Poor rats. Ooh. Oh, that's kind of fucked up. Christ, I'm a fight. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is just like... Fuck! Holy shit! It's like warfare! Holy shit! They're trying their best, man! It's almost impossible, bro! These fucking rats! This is like a war! Oh, man! Oh, wow, this is unbelievable! I think he might have killed out all of them, man. That's gonna kill all the wounded. Does he feel bad? I salute your courage, sir. You created this shit. Is this the beginning of a friendship? This one has a happy ending? Please. Hello, this is me. <laughs> I just got back from the event. I just need to tantalize you guys. This one had a happy ending? Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck it. I'm all for it, fam. All fucking for it. All fucking for it, dog. All for it, yo. It had a happy ending. I gotta give it. Happy ending. This one is titled In... This one is... What's it called again? In Vaulted Halls Intoned. Okay, let's do this. What a happy ending on that one. Didn't expect that, guys. Expected, you know, the guy to die or something like that, or... But... 
Hey, man. Hey, why not? Why the fuck not, man? We can coexist together, right? Dr. Bates, this is Delta Zero Three. We have positive ID on Hostage. These look nice. Get ready to move. This looks really nice. What the fuck is that? Damn, they lost it. This is, I'm sorry, man. They, they, this is what you call a retreat. And we, we, we group or some shit. Spider? What the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck out of there. Yeah, this is when I leave. Ugh, these fucking heebie jeebies, man. Off my back and shit, cuz. This is check, get the fuck out of there, kid fam. You know, this, this ain't no. This is check it the fuck out of there. Run. Yeah, fuck that, bro. Let, let him die. I'm sorry, man. I'd, I'd want that. You know who he looks like? He looks like uh, the guy that was... Uh, Joe Magalio. Yeah, he's dead, man. What the fuck is this? Yeah, for real. Wrong place at the wrong time. But y'all kept going, man. I would have fucking retreated. I'd be like, we done, man. I'm just I'm just a I'm just a pussy like that, yo. Cannibal roaches with human faces and a giant fucking alien. And you wanna kill those guys? I mean you're giving them mercy at this point, right? I shot this man, sir. The Lord is my light. I pray too, man. I don't know if this one's gonna have a, have a happy ending or not, man. I feel like this Those steps are really big. I wonder what those steps are for. They're really big steps. How, who would, what would I know to do in this situation, right? My ass, my gameplay would have been dead by now. Sarge. Sarge, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, I'm about to see the devil himself or some shit, right? Yeah, what the fuck is that thing? Like Cthulhu or some shit? Is that Cthulhu? That's Cthulhu, right? Don't do this. Right, under control. Is that Cthulhu? Ow, get the fuck out of there now, dude. You're getting controlled by that thing. That looks like Cthulhu, right? I'm sorry for repeating myself, but that's what it looked like, man. Cthulhu. She survived that situation? I don't think she released him, did she? What the fuck? Holy shit, that one was fucking crazy. Oh my god, that was crazy. That one was fucking nuts, dude. Right, this one's called Jabaro. Holy fuck, that was crazy. Wow, that looks amazing. They're like flexing with this fucking... Camera work and shit. Wow. That is crazy looking. This is gonna give me some fucking nightmares, man. What is going on? This is nuts. I'm a little bit like tussled back here. Like for real fam, I'm a little bit like, what the fuck? This, the camera work, all of this is out of this world, man. Art, oh man, this is fucking amazing. This is, oh wow, this is a pool of, dude, whoa, how, that is creepy. That shit scares the fuck out of me, man. I'm sorry, that is fucking gonna give me some nightmares tonight, man. Straight nightmares, dog. 
see the metal. It looks so surreal. There has been not been a single word said this whole entire thing. Which is very freaky, by the way. Not a single word has been said. I just like literally just caught on to that. There's been no wording. I don't even know how I'm going to sync this now. This is insane. Do they fall in love with some shit? Like... Oh man, she's doing that little dance for you, buddy. You're, that means run. Oh, there, yeah, she's trying to... I don't know what she's trying to do with him. To be honest, I have no idea. Oh, 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 this is gonna fucking, oh, oh. Are you still gonna make love to her? This is so fucking weird, dog. Again, no words. I'm a little traumatized, guys. I'll be real with you. This was a very traumatizing one. Very, very traumatizing back here. I'm traumatized, y'all. I, I don't know what to think of this. This one has to be one of the more, more disturbing ones. Like, for real. Is that blood? Or what is that shit, man? Uh-oh. Like, what is the meaning of this? Like, what is the point of this one? Greed, greed is not good? Don't kill that thing? What is the Jabaro? Guys, this is like a, a very bad nightmare, but like in digital form, I feel like. What was the point of this one? The other ones had like an overarching story or some shit. What, what is this? Is this is a freak out of the audience? Because they're doing a great job, man. Because I. Do the horses win? Like, what's. She been reborn? That's a thing of nightmares, bro. I'd have chopped off her head if that was the case. I'm sorry, guys. This one is fucking traumatizing. Again, there were no words in this. I've repeated myself like a hundred times. I just don't know what to say. I shouldn't have watched this at four o'clock in the fucking morning, dude. Is he dancing like her too now? Whose fucking thought process is this one, man? Who thought of this? Oh, wow. All the dead soldiers lay. What was that about? That's the, that was the last one. Fam, someone's gotta talk to me. Like, what was the artistic, what, what, what was the lesson learned from that one? Like the other ones, like, you know, the other ones we watched, man, like there was an overarching story, something happened. But this last one, what was the fucking point? Was it just to make me just fucking have goosebumps everywhere and just freak myself out? Like every one of these, oh, a death knight and a siren of myth becoming entwined in a deadly dance. A fatal attraction infused with blood, death, and treasure. I guess, man. I fucking guess, man. I don't know what else to say about that one. I'm just fucking, let me talk about Jabara because that's the one that's on my mind the most right now. What the fuck? Okay, so it was a death knight. I got that now. I couldn't tell it was a death knight from actually watching the whole entire thing. I, I should have known because there was no words whatsoever throughout the whole entire situation. It was fucking quiet. Like, I don't even know how I'm going to sing the motherfucker. But this whole rendition was just, I guess it was a deadly dance. I guess, I get it, dude. But like, what, how, and why? I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know what to think about it. I don't want to judge. I mean, I'm going to, okay. In my mind, man, I, I ain't my cup of tea, fam. You know what I mean? Definitely ain't my cup of tea. I don't know whose cup of tea this is, but it ain't my cup of tea. You know, it's some crazy ass shit. I mean, I guess it's beautiful. 
or in some weird way. But for me, I just, I'm a little traumatized back here. Traumatized is the word, man. I'm fucking traumatized back here, for real. That shit was nuts. Uh, I will say that the art style on this was ridiculous. The camera work, fantastic. Overall, like the actual aesthetics of it, fucking beyond me how good it was, dude. It was really, really good. But the story and whatever, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. Jabbar Rowe, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good on that one. All right, let's talk about the Mason's Rats. Mason's Rats, I thought was great. Great ending. Awesome. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, the whole idea of like the animal kingdom adapting to our ways, I am a big agreement with that. Let me give you a good example, man. So sometimes when I, when I go out on a, whenever I go out on a date and I have nothing to talk about, I always bring up the whole, I, this, this is the question I ask. It's sometimes, you, sometimes you gotta ask dumbass things to your date or whoever you're talking to. And some of the, I, I'll be like, yo, when was the last time we saw a monkey? And they'll be like at the zoo. Then I'll tell them my story about when I saw a monkey and then our conversation will just move from there to somewhere else. And it's actually kind of, it works out pretty well, but enough of that. But the last time I saw a monkey was in Bangladesh, and it was the craziest shit ever. This fucking monkey, bro, it came into our fucking house. It took my cupcakes. Like, we, I had some cupcakes from America. I think it was the Ding Dong Boys or whatever the fuck. It came in, it grabbed my cupcakes, and it went out the door. Came in and just grabbed it. Like, monkeys in India and Bangladesh, they have, they, they have accustomed themselves to, like, steal humans' food. Like, that's what they do. That's how they survive out there is they take human food. Like, that is evolution in a weird way, to be able to come into someone's house unasked, take their food, and just leave. Like, and we've done it, because we've taken away their, I mean, think about it. We've, we've, you know, the home that they were a part of, we've, you know, domesticated. There's more buildings and all that stuff there. So they live in the concrete jungle out there. So what do they do in the concrete jungle? They steal human food. It's the crazy shit I see, man. I'm telling you, it's nuts to me. It's nuts. It's crazy, so... But I really like how at the end they ended up like being homies, which is I'm kind of weirded out about because he fucking was massacring the motherfuckers. Like that was his plan. But I guess, man, they, you know, they, 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 he understood their plight at the end of the day and was like, hey, we cool now. You know what I mean? I was very much, you know, like wild on that one. The vaulted halls entombed. I'm going to guess, yeah, the modern warfare maze of the gods, special force squad, age, an age old evil. I'm going to go ahead and say that's Cthulhu. It looked like Cthulhu to me, you know? A couple of things. I, uh, the artwork on that was great. I thought that was Joe Mangelio as one of them, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but the artwork was great. The, the, the aesthetics of it was awesome. It did look like a Modern Warfare game, for real. Like a full-on Modern Warfare, like a cutscene, the whole thing. Uh, but, you know, at some points, man, when you see... I don't know, man. Maybe when I see some things awry, I just would run. I'm a coward like that. I'm calling me a vagina if you want, but I'm sorry, man. There's certain things out there. When I see it, I'm going the other way, cuz, like, you know. And I think the first thing that I saw was the little fucking translucy lucy thing and then that little spider. That would have been my instinct to get, get the fuck out of there, bro. Go the other direction, get out of there. Uh, that one had a very bad ending. They all died. I don't know if Cthulhu got released or not, but it looked like it, it looked like something happened that was very, very bad. Uh, yeah, man. Love Death Robots, bro. I would have to say out of all of these ones, Mace's... Okay, my favorite would be... Uh, uh, my favorite one was definitely The Very Pulse of the Machine, and then I would go Mason's Rats after that one. And then um, Bad Traveling was really good. Three Exits was my other one. I liked Night of the Mini, whatever. Kill Team Kill was after that. I didn't like Swarm that much. That was really weird. And Jabara had to be like... It just... It wasn't my cup of tea. It was very... It was too much for me, man. I'll be real with you guys. I just... It was very much like, oh, 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 man. Oh, yeah, dude, just all of it. Yeah, all right, guys, good job. Love Death Robots, you did it to me again. You made me freak the fuck out and just lose my shit. Appreciate y'all for that one. All right, fam, with much love, I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you all for watching with me uh, with the series. This is something that I new one I, try, I want to try out because sometimes it's when I watch what I want to watch and share it with you guys, and I really do, do enjoy Love Death Robots. Uh, See y'all in the next one, man. Take care of yourselves and your families. Peace!